Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful physics. In this particular video, we will learn about pulley diagrams. And I'll use a problem from a very famous physics contest called F equals to MA. It's the first level of physics olympiads in United States. Let's look at the problem. We will learn a lot from this one problem. There are two pulleys and there are three bodies in the figure. And of course, the ropes are also there. Now, the mass of the bodies are given as M, M and 3M. The question is this. What is the acceleration of the body with mass M? The body with mass M. That is the question that we want to solve. Now, the, to tackle questions like this, all you need is called the force diagram. If you get that right, the rest of it is really simple. So what is the force diagram? You just figure out what are the forces acting on different bodies. There might be multiple forces acting on them. So you have to be very careful about drawing those forces. So what are the forces, different forces acting on different bodies here? Naturally, you can understand that this 3M, the body with mass 3M, this is coming down. And the body with mass M, bodies with mass M is going up. So what is the downward force that is acting on the body with mass 3M? Well, it's mass into acceleration due to gravity which is 3m times g. You can take the value of g as 9.8 meter per second square. It is not really that relevant for this particular problem. So that is one of the forces that is acting downward. Now you can imagine if the body is coming down, there is a force of tension on the rope, right? What is tension? If you, if suppose the rope is held at one end, and if you pull it on the other end, then there is you will feel that there is a tension force on the rope. And that force we are talking about here. Okay, So this is acting upward. So this is the tension force on the rope. Okay, That's great. So there are two tensions here because there are two ropes attached to this body of mass 3M. Let's look at the forces acting on the bodies of mass M. So this is Mg. And the force acting on the rope is T, as we have described before. And this is also T. This is Mg. Okay. So now we have a complete force diagram. One last thing you have to realize is that the balance force manifests as acceleration. This is a very important thing that many students get a little confused by. How do you see forces? Forces appear in nature as accelerations. That's one way it appears. There are other ways, of course. Forces appear in nature as acceleration. You see the acceleration. You don't see the force. So, here, since M is accelerating upward and 3M is accelerating downward, suppose the acceleration here is acceleration here is A. That's exactly what we want to find out. What is the acceleration? Suppose the acceleration is A. Then we can compute the force equation. So let's try that. M is going upward. So clearly, T minus, let's draw it in a different color. T is the tension minus Mg. This is the balance force. T 
minus mg. T is pulling upward, mg is pulling downward. Subtract them, you get the balance force. So, the remaining force, when I say balance force, I mean the remaining force. That manifests as acceleration. The acceleration is A. This is what we want to find out. So, this is equal to ma. The same thing is true about 3mg. This particular force. The force acting upward is 2t. The upward force is 2t. The downward force is more dominant because it's falling downward. So, 3mg is the downward force. So the remaining force or the balance force is what? It is 3 times m times a, 3 ma. The acceleration is the same, but the force is different because the masses are different, right? Okay, so we are almost done. We have two equations. We can easily solve it. So let's multiply the first equation by 2. I get 2t minus 2mg equals to 2ma. If you add it, 2t, 2t cancels off. So you have mg equals to 5ma actually. I will leave the last line of the proof to you. In the comment section, can you tell me what is the value of a? What is the value of a? In your answer, you can keep g. The gravitational acceleration. So that's the end of the problem. Just solve this equation to find out the value of A and put it in the comment section. I hope you learned something. The pulley diagram itself can be very challenging at times. There are many beautiful problems using pulleys. If you are interested in outstanding physics programs that involves physics Olympiad problems, as well as science fair experimental problems then check the link in the description for the physics olympiad programs at chinta you will love it and we can do some excellent problem solving and research work together all the best i'll see you in the next one and keep on doing beautiful physics